Just a small town cat living in a dumpster with rats. Davi Das. Sean. If you could describe me in one word, what would it be? Multi. Yeah, definitely multi. I take my multivitamins. Yep. Get them all in one hit. Yeah. You don't see me like a chump with a bunch of different vitamins. Mm -mm. What else? Mm -mm. Multi instrumentalist. Mm -hmm. Y'all already know. You know what's up. Huh? Multi-dimensional. Yeah. How about that? Eh? Yeah. I'm off doing other things the right now. Uh-huh. <laughs> and the fifth. <laughs> you name it, I'm there. All the uh -huh. numbers. So it's shocking to me that a multi-scale instrument has eluded me for so long. Oh! Oh, here it is. <laughs> Never played a multi-scale instrument. What is a multi-scale instrument? I didn't even know what it was for the longest time. Well, it has multiple scale lengths. <laughs> like vitamins? Pretty like much. Vitamin you get like, e you know, if Fender has like one vitamin mm. and Gibson has another vitamin, mm. a multi-scale has both of those vitamins. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That, that seems preferable. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, if you're into and you know, lately a lot of guitars I I've been seeing companies being, you know, doing more and more multi multi everything. That's you know? Court. Court has sponsored this video and sent me the X seven hundred, okay? So this is the first multi scale instrument fanned fret guitar I've ever used. In this in this building. Yeah. In your life. Never, never even had in one in your here. guitar career. Now wow. you you have a little bit of experience with fan Yeah, I have instruments. a little bit little bit multi multi experience with multi Are you multi? You multi too? Multi it varies no. per activity. Okay. Multi activities. I thought I saw you in the seventh dimension the other yeah, day. It might yeah, have been. Right. yeah. Well why don't you tell us a little bit about your experience with it and then I'm gonna use this to track a solo at the end of this for a project I'm working on. Well, in my experience, uh, so I have this guitar that's seven string and it's 25 and a half inch scale. Okay. And it's fantastic. The only thing is if I put nines Ernie Ball slinkies on it, the seven string is too loose. Some people don't even know. Like, so the scale is how long every string is. Exactly. Right? So if the first thing you might notice about this is like, all right, so the string starts here at mm -hmm. the nut, the length of it. Now it goes all the way to where it sits in the guitar. You'll notice that the bridge, they're yep. all different lengths. So every single string has a different scale. Exactly. And like you just said, there's there's issues with that. There's issues with that. Because right? sometimes on shorter scales, you need thicker strings. Or on longer scales for lower notes, you also need thicker strings. That's why bass guitars are so long. They're mm -hmm. way longer than electric guitar. Endless. I know. Yeah. And so multi-scale kind of solves that problem because the low strings, you can use a lighter gauge or if you're using a thicker gauge on low strings, you can down tune and it will still remain tight. And on the thinner strings, one, two, and three, the bends are easier because the scale is shorter. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's kind of the, the main benefit. Of Makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So court has just... Put this this, this is good. This is surprise. I held it for a little bit already when I just showed up, and this is good. This is uh, they did like a scarf scarf neck joint, so that's really good. Mm -hmm. They have just enough headstock like recess, where you don't need a string tree. Nice touch. I like the locking tuners. Definitely this is, this need is locking tuners. Always, man. And Fishman Fluence. I have a few guitars with Fishman Fluence. Have you? Have you played I've with never Fishman? played a Fishman Fluence before. Yeah, it's sort of like uh, it's like an active pickup, and you can choose between a humbucker and a single coil kind of sound. You know? Can you maybe run through it real quick, just to kind of see what it sounds like first? Well, of all? let's 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 try it. Oh. Is this enough volume? I think so. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And if I, if I pull if I pull these both up, you see, now we're like in the single coil territory. Okay. So even with like lots of distortion, it cleans up nicely. Oh. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful, man. They're saying there's multiple ways you can use these pickups too. <laughs> I know, right? So it's like you got like one, two, three, mm, four, five, six. I think it's like six or seven hmm. different tonal options here. Yeah, you got on this guitar. Cool. Yeah, so that's cool. Yeah. Do you have a favorite? Um, it's it's all about it's all in the finger. No, <laughs> it's all in the pedals. 
It's all in the pedals. <laughs> so actually, it doesn't matter if you have the right pedal board. Mm -hmm. This this guy got me hooked on pedals. You you, you are a multi a multi pedal. pedal. <laughs> that, and then I was like, no, nope, no, nope, got, got, got you into it. I know that was like a mistake. Mm -hmm. Satin finish. Usually you gotta pay premium for satin finish. No no no, not with court, not with the good people at court. What do we do now? Uh, cat piano solo jam. Oh yeah, okay. All right, what do you uh, what do you think? Whatever. What key? I can only play like two notes at a time on this thing. Oh yeah, okay. So it's key of C. C. C is good. I gotta make it the cat sound. Okay. How do I do this? dimension and now yeah that's 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 the dirtiest dimension there is by yeah, the way yeah, yeah that's, that's you, you don't want to go everyone Dude. says they want to be multi-dimensional no, no. until they Dude, show up in the that's cat dimension what happened. Yeah. movie cats <laughs> came out mm -hmm. the world went to shit <laughs> it was movie cats i'm telling you we can trace it back to the one occurrence yeah yeah that uh -huh. in history movie cats mm -hmm. well, i'm gonna use this track of solo myself how about that okay. uh in this dimension all right and, uh, but thanks for stopping by. Well, so make sure you check me. out this guy's channel. And this guy's. <laughs> multi, multi YouTubers. <laughs> multi channels. Know, right? My channel's way bigger in other dimensions, by the way. <laughs> Just so you know. I believe you. Yes. Alright, so this is the first time I've ever played a fan fret instrument. And the funny thing is, the first thing I thought of was like, how is my finger gonna like affect the bar chords, right? <laughs> And guess what? Your finger just moves along the fret. There's absolutely like, I thought maybe there'd be like a learning curve, but no, there's absolutely no learning curve necessary. So I was kind of surprised by that. Now this is just plugged in directly into the Supro Blackmagic Reverb, right? And you can kind of hear like the distortion on it. So right now it's everything on 10, essentially neck pickup. So you can hear that it's not, sounds just great fantastic that's neck here's the middle bridge and then you know you can like you said you can mess with like the pots and stuff again i think just like neck pickup everything just dimed out sounds fantastic and again this is i i really just kind of prefer the sound of like I'm, I used to be all about overdrive distortion pedals, and now I'm just like back to just kind of like the amp stuff, the sound of the pickups. So uh, again, it's very interesting how your fingers just kind of automatically adjust to absolutely everything. Like, I, I'm kind of shocked by the fact that I don't even have to, like, look, and it just seems to feel kind of right, I guess. Like, Davidas was saying, I think it kind of depends a little bit about how you have the guitar set up. I think just, like, on your leg, it just kind of naturally feels like the frets are in the right place. I think if you're playing up like this, like some people do, then I think you might have to, like, compensate. Maybe let's 
different that way. But again, I usually kind of play this style anyways. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this to, I'm gonna clean it up and then I'm gonna track uh, a solo on a song that I'm working on called Moonpool. So I'm excited to actually use this guitar in context and uh, just kind of rock it out right now. So let's do it. Thank you. 